It's Rochester Live! On today's show, Danielle and Stephanie of Rochester Brainery. Tony Taranis of Rock Geckos. And your host, Ron Ferrara! Yes, hello everybody! Hello! Thank you, thank you, welcome! Yes, no, come on! Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody, to Rochester Live, uh, the talk show where we put your friends and neighbors in the hot seat and see what makes Rochester so great. Uh, I'm your host, Ron Ferrara. I have zero qualifications, but that's okay. I'm not getting paid for this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're excited. we got a great show here. Uh, we might have a great show. It's our first episode. Who knows? But uh, we're pumped. We're really excited. We're shooting here uh, in beautiful uh, Rochester. It is February, which means it's freezing. Uh, almost as cold, in fact, as the reception we gave the mayor at the Free Pepsi concert. <laughs> yeah. uh, though they're now saying those boos didn't come from the crowd. Those boos were from the ghosts of her approval ratings. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what else is in the news here? Darian Lake uh, made an announcement recently that they're going to be adding a new ride to the park. I don't know if you guys saw that. Uh, it'll be the first major addition in a number of years. Uh, they're thinking of calling it the This Probably Won't Kill You coaster. <laughs> yeah. uh, Governor Cuomo also in the news, uh, as always. He's been in the news a lot lately. Uh, but he's having eight regions of New York fight over a $1.5 billion stimulus package. Yeah, our tributes are on the train right now. May the odds be ever in their favor. <laughs> Last but not least, it's February, uh, which means it's time for Valentine's Day. Uh, love is in the air. I know I feel it. The band feels it. I think the audience feels it. Uh, they're saying that the number one place to meet singles in Rochester is actually Wegmans. If you can believe that. Yeah, I hang out in the produce section myself. But uh, take it from me, squeezing the melons for firmness is not a good way to break the ice. Thank you. Thank you. So we have a great show for you here. Uh, so we're excited to get started. Uh, if you guys want to play me over to the desk, let's do this. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Yes, I'm that arrogant, I needed a song to walk five feet. Uh, and actually, why don't we take a second here just to introduce uh, the band, uh, since they are going to be a staple of the show. Uh, here they are, the, uh, the best band in the unpaid, non-celebrity talk show circuit. Here they are, Mike Scipione and the Genesee River Boys. Boys! Uh, Mike, uh, I thought it was the Genesee River Boys. Where's the rest of the boys? He is the Genesee River Boys. That's me. Okay. I see how this is going to be. Um, you know, why don't we just uh, ask each other a few questions, maybe get to uh, know each other so the audience can, can kind of see who we are. Uh, you can start. You ask me a question, I'll ask you, and we can go back and forth. Uh, how much do you weigh? Wrong kind of question. Probably more than I think it is. Uh, maybe this was a bad idea. How many girlfriends do you have? You know what? We're just going to switch this up, I think. What's your social security number? You know, we're going to end this right now and just bring on our first guest. Uh, here they are, a staple of the downtown scene. Uh, the very lovely, very brilliant uh, Stephanie Rankin and Danielle Ramos. Ladies, please come on out. Hello, hello. Please have a seat. Thank you for coming, please. Thank you so much, ladies, for being uh, here on the show, for letting us test out this talk show on you. Yeah, yeah thanks uh, thank for having us. Our, our true pleasure. And you guys run the Rochester Brainery. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I know what the Brainery is because I know everything. Uh, but maybe you guys could give a little synopsis for the audience uh, who don't know you. Sure. We're located in Village Gate, and we have all single session classes. They're all between $15 and $30. And we try and have a little something for everyone, so all different kinds of classes. Yeah, I've seen uh, on the website there's anything from knitting to beekeeping mm -hmm. to, to anything at all. Uh, what's What's the most interesting or bizarre class maybe that you've had come through the doors? Um, well, the, the one that always comes to mind for me is the kombucha classes that we used mm -hmm. to have. I guess they aren't that bizarre, but it was interesting seeing the scobies and everything and working with them. Yeah, <laughs> we've had shibori dye workshops, which are really fun. We have homemade instrument classes on occasion. Um, so, you know, we just try and keep it random. So really anything <laughs> and everything. Anything yeah. and everything you can think of. And, and anybody can teach a class too? 
Yeah, as long as you would consider yourself a master on something, um, okay. we say let us know. We'd love to have you come and teach a class on it. If you ever have anyone that knows how to host a talk show or tell jokes, <laughs> please let me know. Yeah, I will. It's nice to know. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah, actually, uh, we had some of our uh, people looking at the website ahead of time just to see what was on there. And uh, they saw something that was kind of interesting. Uh, we're going to go to a cutaway, but I have a picture of it here as well. Uh, it looks like you guys are teaching a class this coming uh, <laughs> week. <laughs> How do you pick up talk shows? I just forgot about that. Yeah. 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 You guys clearly think this interview is going well. So. Start writing the notes for that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, quick. didn't mean to put you on the spot there, but <laughs> just, just thought it was interesting. Uh, and have you guys actually hosted classes before yourselves? No, we haven't. Yeah, <clears throat> we're too busy booking the classes, I guess, <laughs> to, to do it ourselves. We we're, we could be considered masters at booking classes. Yeah. So if anyone's interested, in that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, boys. <laughs> and uh, how did you get the idea for the brainery? Where did this come from? There's actually a Brooklyn brainery. Okay. Um, and so we kind of got the idea from them. I was living in Brooklyn and had worked with them before and Stephanie was down visiting me and um, we thought it was a really cool idea and both kind of wanted to open something in Rochester and I wanted to move back mm -hmm. and um, so we talked to them and and said hey we love your idea and then just a couple months later we opened okay very it's, quick yeah very, it was very quick. it yeah. sounds like it, it was like no. within eight months we were like <laughs> hello you said stephanie came to visit you how long have you guys actually known each other yeah we met through mutual friends in college so okay. probably like a good seven eight years six something like that okay. <laughs> around there <laughs> And uh, do you have any exciting classes coming up that people can, can check out? Like, what, is there anything you want to promote here today that uh, Well, we have exciting? some um, Ukrainian Easter egg painting classes okay. that are really popular. Um, those are coming up in March, and they're already almost sold out. <laughs> so anyone that wants to come, which yeah. maybe... Which is really fascinating. I, I understand they paint the eggs by hand. It's yeah. not mm -hmm. like how we dye eggs. They actually yeah. mm -hmm. paint them Very really intricate. ornately. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's excellent. And uh, do you have any events coming up? Uh, I know you had talked about uh, some big events that are going to be taking place at the Brainery. Yeah, we have the Bazaar, um, which is our craft show we do the second Saturday of every month. Okay. And then we have our second brain anniversary uh -huh. coming up. It's our second anniversary of being open, um, which we haven't really announced yet. So Early congratulations to you. Thank, Thank you. That'll be in March. On so. March 20th. And we have our second annual BATs, which is like the SATs, but with brainery questions. Okay, okay. So you come and you take the BATs, and whoever scores the highest gets a free membership and some free stuff from local businesses, and it's really fun. And we have food from Buddha Pub and stuff from Scratch Bake Shop. And, oh, that sounds awesome. Um, yeah. yeah, it'll be fun. It's free. So. I think it's safe to say that we'll probably be there scaring yeah, your crowd away. Sounds good. Uh, <laughs> sounds good. So thank you uh, so much uh, for letting us know. Um, that, that's wonderful. Uh, we actually, normally this is where we would probably take a commercial break, mm -hmm. uh, but since it's our first show, we didn't actually play anything. We got anything. something. What? We put something together, so we didn't have anything to play. Wait, you the band? You guys put something together? Yeah, we made something. Uh, <laughs> this is unorthodox, but I guess all out, it's our first episode, we might as well... Uh, where should I... Is that a VHS? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's my dad's VHS. Uh, <laughs> I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm terrified right. to see what you guys have. All right, let's just we'll play it. You rolling? Uh, yeah. Hi, this is Mike, and this is Band on the Street. We're trying to get Ron a date because his love life is a joke. Let's go. Wait. Excuse me, sir. We picked a perfect day. When you're, um, talk Hi, uh, excuse me. Uh, do you have a minute to talk about Valentine's Day? Just wondering if you had any Valentine's Day plans or anywhere you're going for Valentine's Day? Excuse me, would you date Ron Ferrara? Would you ever go out on a man with a, on a date with a man who looked like this? Now, this is the host of our show. What would you buy a man like that for Valentine's Day? Chocolate. He does look like a chocolate man, doesn't he? Yeah. This is the host of this is the host of our show. Oh. Ron. Ron, Ron. Where do you think a man like that would enjoy going for Valentine's oh. Day? What was the question? Where would you take a guy on a date for Valentine's Day? Um, probably to Max's right across the street. It's a little bit pricey, but it's very nice. I went there for my birthday, so. She seemed to like him, but I know for a fact he can't afford that restaurant. So you have a date for Valentine's Day? 
I don't have a date. Um, well, I mean, sure. what do you think? What do you think? He's a little young for me. <laughs> he does look about 17. I don't know what to do at this point. We're trying to find someone to go on a date with Ron. Everyone thinks he looks like a seven-year-old boy and that he likes to eat chocolate. Yeah, I don't really go any place for Valentine's Day, but yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. Uh, say nothing if you would go out with Ron. That's a wrap. That's what we got him a date. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, we really hard. When we're done, when we're done with the show, we're gonna have a long conversation. Uh, until then, though, we are gonna bring out our second guest here. Uh, he is the owner and founder of Rock Geckos. Here he is, Tony Taradas. Tony. Welcome, welcome. Tony so, should be jealous of your hair, by the way. Well, oh, thank you. It's uh, impeccable. It's on par, I think. <laughs> Uh, if you say so, anyway. Yes. Uh, so you are Tony Taranis. You have a company called Rock Geckos. Yes. What is that? Uh, that is a uh, company where I have a whole bunch of these little guys. Oh, look, another date for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I basically I breed geckos okay. uh, and sell them all over the uh, the country, uh, all around the U.S. I shipped uh, the lower 48. I uh, go to trade shows and um, yeah, basically. Okay, pets. And, and who is this guy? Does he have a name? Uh, what kind of yeah, this is Ridley. He? He's a six-year-old gargoyle gecko uh, from the island of New Caledonia, right off the east coast of Australia. Okay, not uh, to be confused with uh, Caledonia, New York, <laughs> which is desolate. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, how long have you been, you've been raising geckos? How long uh, has this been part of your life? Uh, since about 2006, uh, when I graduated from college, I picked up a couple of pets, and they, they laid a couple eggs, and I figured if I can sell some geckos, I can buy more geckos. So. <laughs> okay. And what initially got you interested in getting the, the geckos to begin with? Just picked uh, out of a hat? I just thought they were cool. I mean, they look super prehistoric, um, and they're, geez, there's a ton of variety. There's over a thousand species of um, known, described species, and... There's just something unique about all of them. So I brought a few others. Let's sure, sure. You want to pass, pass, along. pass them sure. along and we can... Uh, he won't <laughs> bite. Uh, and I made him use the bathroom before I left, so don't worry about that. <laughs> you made him use the... Did you have a little toilet that he... Uh, I do, yeah. Uh, can we get our, our next uh, <laughs> miniature guest? Sure. <laughs> this guy's a little bit smaller. This is actually a, a velvet gecko from Australia. Okay. So I'm just Good day. Bit. Yeah, good day. <laughs> <laughs> not the guy called Gecko. No, not to be confused with, uh, with your local insurance agent. Yeah, actually, most geckos think uh, insurance is a scam. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I like that guy. He's not bad <laughs> most of the time. So uh, they're pretty cool little guys. They're uh, like I said, they're from the outback. Mm -hmm. uh, their fat tail over here st uh, stores fat for uh, some of the harsh conditions over there. Um, but they're they're pretty hardy little cool Much guys. Much like myself in Rochester. <laughs> there you go. Very so, cool. Yeah. So tiny. I know, this is about as big as they get, but they're very soft if you want to pet it. Oh, yeah. Is that where the velvet name comes from? Their, uh, their smooth skin? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Either that or Not it's their rich baritone voice. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then I've got one more. Sure, sure. Uh, and this Send is actually a uh, threatened species from. Here, hold this one's not that jumpy. This is actually a threatened species, so not quite endangered, but getting close. This is a leaf-tailed gecko from uh, Madagascar. Okay. So. Wow, he has really cool eyes. Yeah, he's and a he's little charging jumpy. right at me. <laughs> <laughs> no sudden movements. Oh, there he goes. Flying gecko. There we go. They're a little delicate. Okay. Wow. Yeah, great camouflage. If they keep jumping like that, no wonder they're in danger. Yeah, no kidding. Wow. Wow, really cool uh, eyes. Looks amazing. And uh, they don't bite or anything like that, do they? Probably not. <laughs> good, good to know. I'll give you a warning. I'll wave this tail at you. Great. You chill. I'll chill. <laughs> I think he likes the picture. Uh, Can you blame him? It's too cool. And uh, uh, aside from breeding them, you have uh, events going on in Rochester as well? Yeah, actually, uh, April 4th. Um, is, no, excuse me, April 11th. They're going to kill me if I give the wrong date. No, <laughs> April uh, 11th over at the Main Street Armory, so just a couple blocks from here. We're going to be having a reptile expo, and so it's going to be a vendor as much like myself with all sorts of reptiles for sale and on view. Uh, so, I mean, obviously I'll have geckos there, there'll be snakes, 
frogs, uh, spiders. I hate spiders, but those will be there too. <laughs> Um, and I understand there's some kind of uh, charity aspect to it. You have some, yeah, uh, another foundation uh, working with that. It's actually really exciting. So uh, Zoomed, which is the uh, the largest um, American manufacturer of reptile goods, uh, is donating a, a whole bunch of supplies, uh, and we're going to do a charity auction for U.S. Ark, which is a, a group that um, basically defends our our ability to keep these amazing animals as pets. That's uh, that's incredible stuff. Uh, thank you all so much for, for coming on the show here. Oh, he's coming back to me. All right, let's Couldn't do this. Away. Bring him <laughs> mano a mano. So hiding back there. Afraid of the camera. Okay. <laughs> I, I am too. I'm terrified. Wow, he is awesome looking. Uh, but thank you all for coming out uh, for our first episode here. Uh, I'm mesmerized. I don't want to end the show because I want to just keep staring at him. Uh, to get in touch with you, uh, you work through a Facebook page? Uh, yeah, probably? yeah. I, I don't have a website, but I do have a Facebook page, uh, Instagram, Twitter, I think Twitter. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you can look for uh, Rock Geckos, and then the Expo you can look for by uh, searching Rexpo on the, uh, the Google machine. It's also uh, scales.com, S-C-A-L-E-Z-Z.com. Very cool. And you ladies to get in touch with you, uh, the website's the best bet? Yeah. And that's uh, rochesterbrainery.com? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very can we cool. buy brains there? <laughs> you guys didn't Bye. listen to a single word of the interview, <laughs> did you? We are asleep at the wheel over there. Uh, well, thank you so much, everybody, again, for, uh, for being part of this program. Uh, check out more of our, uh, our show and what we do at rochesterlive.tv. Uh, thank you all for tuning in, and uh, we hope to see you again soon. Thanks, everybody. Want more? Visit us online at rochesterlive.tv. 